Hi, this is Ethan from Printed Village, and today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a quick illustration of a bubble in Illustrator. I feel like I've been doing a lot of Photoshop tutorials, so I just want to help out some of the folks who are using Illustrator over there. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new Illustrator document, and I'm just going to get out the rectangle tool and a nice blue color to put in my background. Once I got that, I'm just going to lock the layer so it doesn't go anywhere and make a new one. And now I'm going to get the circle tool from under the rectangle tool. And I'm going to hold down shift to just drag out a perfect circle like this. Now that I've got my circle, I'm going to go over and get the gradient tool. And for the type of gradient, I'm going to select radial. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the fading sky default gradient because it's pretty close to what I'm looking for. So I'm going to flip these so that the gradient is coming in from the outside so it has an open center. And you just have to play with this until it looks right. I think. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now I'm going to copy this using Command C and then hit Command F to paste it directly on top of the other one. And now I'm just going to use a slightly different type of gradient. So I'm going to get the gradient tool again and I'm just going to create a little bit of a shadow on this. It's a little too far. There we go. So something, yeah, something kind of like that. All right. So now I've got the basic shape of the bubble, and I just want to make a little crescent-shaped highlight. So I'm going to use the ellipse tool again, and I'm just going to select uh, just like white first. And I'm just going to drag out another ellipse. Copy that, then use Command F again to paste it on top of itself. Then I'm going to get black, and I'm going to use the Move tool to just slightly offset these so we get that crescent shape. Like that. <clears throat> and now we go up to the Window tab and open up the Pathfinder window. And in the Pathfinder window, with both of your circles selected, you just want to click the subtract button, it's called minus front. And now all you have left is the little crescent of the white circle. Pathfinder is very useful. So I'm going to position that, size it down. And to just give it a nice little glow effect, I'm going to go down to stylize and feather. And make sure, making sure previews check so I can see what I'm doing. Just play with this until it looks right. That looks pretty good to me. And then to finish this guy off, I'm just going to put another circle, the same thing, effect, and feather. Just make a couple more highlights. Effect, feather, and there you have it. There's a simple drawing of a bubble in Illustrator. You can just group this and copy it, and you can make like a whole field of bubbles. So I hope this helps you guys out with your nautical scarf designs, and uh, have fun with it. Bye.